I want you to feel like you can wow the audience, that everyone will feel like, oh my God, that was an amazing show. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Sergio. I'm a professional ballet dancer and today we are here in Blumlov Castle in the Czech Republic and I will be dancing the first performance of the ballet season. And so I thought it would be the perfect moment to share with you a small guide on how to approach a ballet performance. I know because I feel the same, that anxiety before the show, that feeling that you want to give your best, that you don't want to be or you don't, you don't want to get embarrassed by the situation or you don't want to fail you don't want to fall but uh, there are some things there are so many things that I learned throughout my years and that I can share right now with you for you to feel confident for you to feel like you have everything under control and you can perform at your best as you can see behind me we are going to be performing outside in a gala I hope you can enjoy this video you can enjoy this guide and this vlog and let's do the best performance we can together all right, so before we go to the ballet class, we need to check that we have everything that we need for the show. I like to do this before the class because after we don't have so much time, it will be around 30 minutes. And so now is the perfect time for me to check I have everything and put it in my bag, uh, or at least just put it in a place that it will be just easy to pick up and then we will go. So very important. The most things that we need to take is things that uh, without them, we cannot do the show. So these are ballet shoes, and this is, for example, for men, it will be dance belt, but if it's a girl, it will be like the ballet tights or it will be underwear or leotards for the rehearsal, t-shirts and all, all of this type of things. So in the both pieces that I'm dancing in the gala tonight, I'm wearing ballet shoes. So I have my main ballet shoes here, but I will also take an extra pair of ballet shoes in case something happens. They get dirty, they get wet, they break. You always need a second pair of ballet shoes. Then, of course, dance belts. I will take two of them because we never know in case something happens. It's important to have this. These are, for example, for me, these are my main. The tights and the costume, the costume ladies are taking it. Makeup, they are also taking it there or hair product. But anyway, I'm taking my bag with hair products and everything that I need uh, as a um, sanitary uh, effects that I would need toothbrush and toothpaste and perfume and um, hair gel uh, or paste all of these things I take it with me as well then of course nutrition wise I'm taking sports drink and bottle of water and um, also I have here a bit of protein the food is in the fridge and I have to take it after which is very important and we will be talking also about this later and of course we need warm-up clothes in this case I'm taking just black pants and I'm taking this jacket that is uh, lightweight but it will cover me if it will be a little bit cold and these are the masks these are the things that they they really need to be here and I need I really need to take with me the rest is not necessary and you can take as much as you want but just for you to make sure that everything is ready and you have everything at least two pairs of shoes or if you have if you use pawn shoes then take more than one pair of pawn shoes because you never know what is going to happen and this is super important for you to know Yes? 
Alright, so we are in Blumlof, we are now in the castle and I have a little bit of time before we go to the rehearsal so I thought it would be perfect time to talk to you about nutrition and what I will be eating throughout the day because I think it's really important for you to feel energized through the whole day and to don't get these ups and downs that we normally feel and so my choice for today and normally for my day at work in the theatre when I have a lot to do is to not have big foods, big meals, but I try to separate them in snacks that they work perfect for me. And in this case, we have nuts, we get isotonic drinks, rice crackers, protein shake, bananas, some 85% chocolate, and this also isotonic drink that we have from Japan, it's called Pokari, it's kind of like an Aquarius. And so this is it. The nuts, they have healthy fats and carbs, which in, and I really like the taste, so this works really well. For example, the protein shake is for, I will be taking it after I do the, the performance, just to repair the muscles and to help to the faster recovery. And bananas are great. The chocolate, for example, I'm taking it in between the two pieces that I'm dancing because it gives me that boost of energy and that taste of sugar. And we, but without have being too um, saturated because it's just 85% the real chocolate. Rice crackers, they, this can make your stomach a bit more full, but they don't have so many calories and so it doesn't feel heavy on your body. And this is basically the things I will be eating through the day. I think this is really important and. I tell you this is mine, but you don't need to take it exactly for yourself because everyone has it different. For some people, a big meal, for example, a big plate of pasta can work perfectly. But for me, if I have a long day and I have to keep the energy levels at the same uh, level, then uh, eating snacks like this works like magic. So this is what I will, be, I will be eating today. Now we are going to change and I will go for the stage to do the first spacing to see how the stage looks like and how it feels for me. And that's it. So let's go to change. So now, right now, they are starting with uh, Raimonda. They are doing the spacing rehearsal. And so I want to share with you here some small tips on what you need to look for the first time you go on stage. So the first thing, this is something my old teacher told me, is to check on the diagonals. So you will see the space as we see right now and see where are your diagonals and where are your directions. Where is the front, where is the back, where are the exits. Exits, and this is very important for you to to be uh, on the space and to know where you can go and where you cannot go, because in ballet we use a lot of the directions, the diagonals in our dancing. So it's important that you know where they are on the space. Another thing to look for is the floor. You can check if it's slippery, if it's hard, or what do you need for for your shoes. For example, maybe you might need some resin or to put some water under the shoes because it's very slippery. And if it's the floor is really hard, then you need to make sure that you warm up really well so you don't hurt your knees or your hips. These are the first things that you need to check for this spacing rehearsal. So just make sure that you know where you are and you know what are your directions on the space and you make sure that you are comfortable with the floor and how it is. So now they're doing Raimonda, so I have to wait for my turn to, to, to do my spacing. I'm dancing tonight the Palais de of La Source and the Palais de of Sleeping Beauty from the third act. So yes, now I just have to wait for it. As I was doing these rehearsals, I had a moment to reflect and to think about what it's like to perform and do ballet as an art form. 
Performing arts are not meant to be judged, but shared. The fact that we perform live and is so ephemeral is only about giving our best, to tell a story and to share it with the audience. Experience is not good or bad, it's just that, experience. There is only one thing that matters and it is to do it with love and joy. Sometimes it will be better and sometimes worse, but always doing it because we love it. That should be the expectation that you need to meet, not if you will do good pirouettes or not. We rehearse so many hours every day that our body knows what to do. It's only your mind playing games with you. So be confident because you are ready for this. As the last tips, I would like to tell you that you need to be aware of the lights. We tend to stay back when we face uh, some lightings on the stage. Focus really far and make sure that you engage your core. That probably will help you with lights. Don't mind the audience and stay in contact with your peers and your partner. Let the music guide you. And whenever you feel nervous, we also tend to rush. So just breathe, stay calm, smile, and let your body do what it knows already. Okay, my friends, so I hope you enjoyed this video and it really served you as a guide. Or if you are not a ballet dancer, I hope this helped you to feel more confident or to know a little bit more of what it's like to be a professional ballet dancer and what do we do when we have to do performances. It was a pleasure for me to record this video. I really had fun. So guys, if you enjoy my content and you want to see more, there is a video right here that talks about why hard work isn't always enough for ballet dancers. So click on it right now and you can watch more of my content. Anyway, I thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to be your best and I will see you in the next video.